This example is supposed to illustrate the difference between linear speed and angular speed. A boastful athletic man makes the claim that he could win a race against a thoroughbred racehorse. The man knows that the horse can probably run in a straight line much faster than he himself can. So instead, the man devises an alternate way to win. The man believes under the right conditions he'll be able to travel at a faster angular speed than the horse. Angular speed is assigned to the variable omega. And a formula for it is omega equals delta theta over delta t. And it may be possible for the man to achieve the same angular displacement as the horse, but do so in a shorter time if the conditions are right. The horse's owner is very particular though, and he agrees to the contest only if the horse is required to run no more than 180 meters with an angular displacement of 0.75 pi radians. The man who will be competing is confident that he could run 60 meters in the same time that the horse could run 180. So if the man's prediction is correct, what is the maximum radius of his own track that he should set so that he can possibly tie with the horse? All right, there's a lot to this problem. They said that the arc length of the horse was going to be 180 meters. That would be the distance from the horse to the finish. The man wants to run 60 meters though. Now an angular displacement of 0.7 pi radians is 3 quarters pi, which would be a 135 degree angle. And they're both going to complete that angle, but one of them has to run much farther in order to do it. First of all, let's figure out what the man's radius should be. Alright, so we want to find the radius for the man. Let's use the formula s equals r theta. Now, the arc length is 60 meters, and the theta is going to be 0.75 pi. The man needs a radius of 25.5 meters. Using the convention that the positive y direction is up toward the top of the page and the positive x direction is to the right, what is the man's initial angular position relative to a coordinate system where the origin is at the center of the circle? We want to give the man an initial angular position, call it theta i. It's zero. And we want to give him a final angular position as well. Now once he travels all this distance here, he's going to be located at an angle of 3 quarters pi. Now we want to find what is called the angular displacement, delta theta. And like any delta quantity, it's going to be final minus initial. It's 0 0.75 pi. How does the man's angular displacement compare to the horses in this race? Well, they are the same. So as we can see, the angular displacement is not the same as the distance traveled.
Now let's look at some results between man and beast. In the first trial, the man and the horse had a photo finish at t equals 8 seconds, and it was too close to call. Which of these two had the larger average tangential speed in this trial? So for that, we're going to actually use the speed formula from the past. Distance travel divided by time. And we just want to do it for both the man and the horse. Uh, so for the man, he's going to go 60 meters in 8 seconds. seven point five meters per second and now let's do it for the horse as well hundred and eighty meters in eight seconds twenty two point five meters per second clearly the horse ran faster if we're talking about tangential speed but what about the angular speed for that we're going to use omega omega equals delta theta over delta t now, if they had changed their speeds at all while they're running, then we'd really be finding an average here. Anyway, let's find out what it was. For the man, he traveled 3 quarters pi radians in 8 seconds. 0 0.29, and the units will be radians per second. Now let's see what it would be for the horse. Hopefully it's clear. It would be the same. In another trial, let's say the horse finished in 8 seconds, but the man took 10 seconds to get to the finish line. Which of the two had the larger tangential speed here? Well, just to be sure, we can recalculate the man's speed. It would now be uh, 60 over 10. So he slowed up to 6 meters per second, but the horse still ran 22.5 meters per second. So clearly, the horse was faster. What about the angular speed now? Well, the horse is still going to have 0.29 radians per second. The man's got 0 0.24 radians per second. So the horse had the larger Omega. Larger V and larger Omega. But now, let's say the horse finishes in eight seconds, but the man finishes in six. Who had the larger tangential speed now? Now the man went up to 10 meters per second, pretty fast for a man. But the horse still has 22.5 meters per second. Horse was faster.
We had the larger angular speed though. Let's recalculate. Now the man had the larger omega, which is what he wanted. So he reaches the finish line first.